All right, I am here with a thrift haul for you guys. Hopefully you are ready for a long video because I have a lot of stuff to show you. These are from, I think, All Goodwills, and then I shopped the Clothes Mentor 50% off sale and got a few things. So if you're new here, thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Heather. I go by the Canary Closet on Instagram and TikTok as well as here on YouTube, obviously. You can follow me down below if you want to follow me elsewhere. Otherwise, no big deal. I literally don't care. Um, if you see anything you're interested in buying from this haul, please message me on Instagram or email. That information is down below in the description as well as Amazon links for everything that I use for my business. You can also use those Amazon links to purchase anything you would normally purchase off of Amazon. It does give me a little bit of a kickback. So thank you for that. We're going to get into it. Anytime throughout the video that you guys want to comment, that does help push it out in the YouTube algorithm a little bit. So I do appreciate that. Otherwise, a thumbs up is always good too. So this first um, bag is from a Goodwill. I just had a quick stop the other night. My son Ryan had a volleyball lesson and then uh, we took him and his nephew, I mean my nephew, out to dinner. Stopped at a Goodwill quickly. So here's what I found on a quick trip. A pair of Miss Me jeans. These still sell. I will get them if they're like $8 and under. These ones almost have this like uh, wing pocket on the back. So 31 and they are a boot cut style. So that's a good style and a good size. Um, we have another pair. I have a few pairs actually. These ones are a size 30. These are the easy boot. Uh, they Again, they're kind of low rise like Y2K. This one has more of like a little bit of embroidery on it on the back. I usually list these around $35 unless there's something like really special, but most of the time they're not. This one's got a gold sparkly patch. How fancy. This one is a size 30 and it's the mid-rise curvy boot. So some embroidery, rhinestones, embellishment there. A little bit of a darker wash. <coughs> Excuse me. I should have brought a water because I was just at my open gym with my boys at volleyball that I coached and I feel like I was losing my voice. More Miss Me, size 30. These are the boot cut. Again, these ones almost have, like this almost looks like a cross on the back. There's not really that much for me to say about these, so I'm just kind of going through them quickly. But I was excited to find them all together. And then this is um, a pair I'm gonna give to my brother to sell. He sells men's on eBay and Poshmark. BKE Derek and a size 34 long. Um, yeah, I don't know how well men's buckle jeans do, but I think they do pretty decent. So that's going to go in a pile to give to him to sell. So I'll put that right behind me. And then we have a gray dress by the brand Eileen Fisher. This is a really stretchy dress. It's in a size medium and it is probably a three quarter sleeve and it's most likely a midi length. Um, just a good like minimalist work kind of basic dress and this is a viscose spandex blend so I was excited to grab that I really like selling Ivy and Fisher next is this really pretty dress by Anthropology. I just sold a different Maeve by Anthropology dress for I think almost $40 this one's a size small and it has all these different multicolor stripes um, and the buttons all the way down with the tie belt so I think that's super cute for upcoming like spring, summer. <coughs> I'm trying to look around and see if I have a water anywhere. But I don't know if I do. Hopefully we can get through this video. Okay, let's just go through this bag from Clothes Mentor because why not? So 50% off. First up is this Lauren Ralph Lauren Black Label, which is one of their better labels, but purple label is the highest. And I think there's like a navy blue, like a dark blue label. But black label is either in the middle or the lowest. I can't remember. I just know purple label is the highest. Anyway, this is a size small wool dress with this little like belted leather detail right here, which I felt like is really cool and unique. It's probably a knee length or maybe a midi length dress. Um, let's see. It does. It's actually a wool blend. It has nylon and cotton in it as well. <coughs> So 
I tried to look up comps in this before I got it because I got it for ten dollars and it's like a wrap style. But like a quick search, I couldn't find exact comps. So I'm gonna do more research, but I think that's definitely worth ten dollars. Uh, there's my receipt. Next up, we have a Jay McLaughlin dress. And this is a silk dress, which is something different than what I normally get from them. And it's interesting with these, like, people shooting bow and arrows. Like, I don't know what this print is about. So I'm definitely going to look it up before I list it. It's a V-neck. Um, but, yeah. Really kind of weird to me, but... I'm sure somebody will like it. Weird does good. This is Alice and Olivia. I think I found exact comps for this dress around $75. Um, this is a size six and it is a white lace, white and yellow lace fit and flare little mini dress. And I think I only paid like 11 or 12 for this. So that's great. They had another Alice and Olivia, but it didn't seem like as cute or like trendy of a style. So I didn't get that. Like I maybe would get it if it goes down cheaper. Um, next up we have a Free People Movement jumpsuit. Which Free People Movement doesn't always do that great for me. That's their logo. That little thing that I say looks like wheat. Um, but I did see pretty good comps on this particular jumpsuit. It's a burgundy uh, jumpsuit. So it kind of has like some mesh underlaying. And then the logo is right here in the back. And then it's kind of like a full length legging. So... We'll see how that does. Next up, we have a pair of Patagonia shorts. Um, size large. They had them there, but I really feel like these are at men's size large. So I decided to grab them. They were on clearance for seven bucks. Patagonia does have style numbers. They're, it's right back here in the back. STY. You can pop that into Google. Super easy to figure out what it is. And then I can look up comps but that was exciting. I got a few swimsuits actually. And first up is this brand Chubbies, which am I holding this upside down? Yes, I am. Chubbies. I like to pick this up in men's, but, um, for women's, I was like, I don't know. And this was only $10, like a normal price or $10.99. It's, um, a one piece size small comps weren't super high for this. I think around 35 or so. But I wanted to get some swimsuits in my closet for upcoming spring, summer, and like shorts and dresses and stuff like that. So I went ahead and grabbed that, especially being new with tags. Okay, next I have this brand, which I've sold before. It's the brand Somersault. I sold it before in a cashmere, like jogger pants, and they sell for over $50. This is a, like, I think it's a swimsuit cover up, maybe. Um, it's a striped, like, kind of feel silky um with all these cute little stripes like tunic length um i they only had this priced at 10.99 which i felt like was great for a new with tags item it doesn't say the price here but anyway i would look up this brand if you find it like i said i sold it before good and then i found a miracle suit swimsuit which is one of my favorite swimsuit brands to sell here's what the tag looks like it does seem to do better in larger sizes. This is like kind of worn, but it looks like it's a US size. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to look because I can see the other sizes and I'll see what they convert to. But anyway, um, pink and like black, kind of paisley floral. They usually have a lot of like ruching and wrap kind of stuff here for like coverage, I think. So I'm excited for those swimsuits to get into my closet. And then I got one pair of jeans there. And they are these pair of Anthropology Pilcro. These were on their half off sale. They are a size 31. And they are like a high rise flare with the distressed knee. And I think I saw a sold comp for these at least 50, maybe even higher. So I got those since they were like a really good size and a cute style. So let's keep going. We have an Obermeyer coat. I just featured this today in an Instagram post of some recent finds. This is a women's size eight. Obermeyer is a ski snow outdoor brand. Um, this one's just a nice like black kind of like parka coat. So I was excited to grab that. That should sell well. And then I found this white Eileen Fisher. Um, it's like a cotton, um, it's size extra small, 
like cardigan. So it feels really soft and comfortable, but just like an open cardigan, but it's more like a sweatshirt material with pockets. Um, the material is, yeah, 100% organic cotton. So I will put organic cotton in my title because some people are specifically looking for that. Next up, we have a Lululemon shirt, and I don't know if this is a men's or women's, so let me know what you think. Um, the logo is right here. It's black, and it's like a black and almost like a beige striped shirt. It was in the women's section, but I feel like this just looks big to be a women's. Like, I feel like this is a men's. So if you recognize this, but I don't know, I feel like that neck is kind of a women's. If you recognize this style, let me know. Otherwise, I'll probably just do a little Google searching or, as usual, text Keegan. Thanks, Keegan. Last time, he helped me out with some other styles. This is for my brother to sell, just a men's Under Armour polo. I think he bundles these together, and he'll put, like, or lots them together. He'll put, like, three or four together in a listing and sell them that way, the same size. We have a pair of Levi's denim shorts, so... These ones with the leather patches can do better for me sometimes. These are the 501s. And the size is, they're 100% cotton, 29. So a size 29, great pair of like cut off, distressed jean shorts. Excited to add those. This is an amazing find because it's been a bit since I found this brand. It is St. John, not to be confused with St. John's Bay. This is size 12. And it is this really pretty, like, jacket. Um, it does have some beading on the collar here. Maybe you could call it a cardigan. I don't know. There's, like, a little bit of loose thread down here, but I'll just cut that off. But St. John is definitely a bolo. I think this is their Santana knit, which is, like, a specific knit that they use. But I'm not sure, so I'll kind of try to figure that out. Because if it is, I want to put that in the title. But I think I can get at least $100 for this. Yes, this is a brand that I like never get, but this is so cute, I had to get it. So the brand is Loft. I got it, one, because it's new with tags. It originally retailed for $74.50, but the style is so cute. It's a navy blue, pink, like chunky knit cardigan sweater. And I don't know, I feel like it's more of like a relaxed, longer, and I don't know, I think that's so cute, so. Hopefully I don't regret that decision. Next up, Ellie, could you please leave the cats alone? Just chill out somewhere. Whiskers is like dying to get food, even though she's already eaten. Eileen Fisher again. This is, I think, a linen size small. It is a burgundy kind of dusty dark rose color. It is more of a tunic length. It's lightweight, kind of sheer. It's 100% tensile. Okay, so it's not linen. 100% tensile lyocell. So that should do good. I'm guessing 30 to 35. I'll try to look up comps on that. Oh, here we go with my things that I can't resist. Look at this cute Mickey Mouse. This is a men's polo. It's a, it says it's Disney Originals, and I've never seen this Disney tag before. So if you sell vintage and you have, let me know. It's a large, extra large cotton polo, but I'm like, oh, I just, I don't know. I just can't help it. Plus it was half off. So I'm like, you know what? I'm getting that for $2. Okay, next we have another Eileen Fisher. This was over with the jackets section. This is an older tag, but I will still get it if it's a good piece. It's a size medium and it is 100% wool and it's just like a classic cardigan sweater with kind of like this drapey front style. So I think this could definitely still be in style and made today so I was excited to grab that next up we have a robe this was off of the new rack and it is by the brand Ugg so I'm adding in a skims robe to my store and now I'm adding in an Ugg robe so I'm super excited about that this one's a size large it's very very soft it kind of is like a two-tone with the lighter blue in the inside it has pockets it's more like a mid-length so I did look up comps for this specific one, and I think it was at least 45 or 50. So I was glad I got that off the new rack. These are a pair of jeans for my brother to sell. Um, I think Rock Revival does even better in men's. 
So they have a back patch that's like more vertical. They're a size 36 and they're the Leon Relaxed Straight. So I'm giving them, I'm giving him these to sell. Those should do well. And then this next item is so exciting because I think I'm going to wear it next week when we go to Disney. So we do have the first day we're getting there early, which I always try to plan to get there early because then I feel like it's like an extra day of vacation. And we're going to Disney Springs, which is like, if you've never been to Disney World, there's the four parks and then Disney Springs is a whole bunch of shops and restaurants. It's on property. And we're going to go out to eat at this really cool restaurant. It's called Enzo's Hideaway, but it's kind of the um, idea of a speakeasy. So you like go down below under these stairs. Anyway, so I think I'm going to wear this for this, but here's the tag. Mickey Ink, size medium. But look how cool this cardigan is. It has like stars and Mickey heads and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So like I possibly could wear it. I mean, I could wear it to the park, but like I think it's going to be like low 70s during the day and then like 50 at night. So I'm going to have to be like layering and usually I just layer with like athletic kind of stuff. But I feel like if we go out to eat the first night, I could wear some jeans with this or something. I talked to one of my Instagram friends that's also a Disney lover. I was freaking out when I found this. I'm like, no way. This is like literally so cute. Okay, let me transfer some of this stuff so I don't have a huge mess. Ugh. Okay, let's keep going. Next, we have a pair of shoes. These are a pair of Noble shoes. These can sell really well. Um, at this Goodwill, they have sh shoe racks, and they used to be slanted, you know, and the top one was slanted. Now they're completely flat. And like, even for me, I'm 5'11", I have to like reach up to get the ones in the top shelf and like, you can't even hardly see them. These were on the top shelf, so I'm glad that I got them before somebody else did. They're a pair of like high top sneakers. They are a size seven in men's um, and eight and a half in women's. I'm gonna list these as women's. And they usually have this like gum sole, but no bowl sells good for me. Certain styles do better than others. So we will see about that. This was like a really great trip after I had a really bad trip. So I went to one Goodwill and I found literally nothing. Like I maybe could have picked up some stuff if I was looking for $15, $20 sales, but I was trying to look for higher price sales or things that are like, I know could sell quickly for me. And there was like nothing there. And I was like so depressed. So <laughs> then I went to this next one and I was like, oh my gosh. And it was so good. Okay, this is a rare thing for me to be picking up Athleta leggings, but I looked up this exact style since it said it right there. Delancey Gleam Moto Tights. I looked them up on eBay, and the sell-through rate was almost 100%. They do kind of have these, like, well, it's like the Moto details, and they're gray. Kind of gray? Yeah. With, like, this zipper ankle detail, size medium. Um, so I think this must be a more popular style. So that was good. I'm glad that I looked up the sell-through rate on those. Um, next, we have a pair of clogs, and I've sold these once before. And where is the brand? Oh, here it is. So it says it right here, Stegman. These are like wool slippers slash clogs. They remind me of the Ugg Tasman shoes. These are a size 7, and sell-through rate on these are great on eBay. They look like they've barely been worn. This one has this like slight little mark but I don't think that's really going to affect the value too much. So excited about these. I have quite a pile of shoes over here. I probably need to have a shoe listing day tomorrow. Uh, and then look what else I got. How great are these? Vintage Doc Martin sandals. They're mega heavy. Like if you're my age, remember, although I never got to wear these in high school because we, we didn't have that much money. So we had to get the off brand with like not the yellow laces. Depressing. Made in England, which is the ones you want to look for for Doc Martens made in England. I don't know if there's a size. Oh, right here. U.S. size 9. So these are great. I'm so excited to list these. I'll use like Y2K 90s in my title and my keywords. My last pair of vintage Doc Martens I think I sold on Depop for over $100, I think. But they had like this star design in the top. They were so cool. Those shoes are so heavy. Okay, let's keep it moving. And then our last pair of shoes we found there, these were all the new color tags, so they had just came out. These are a pair of Danskos. Um, the classic nursing clogs don't do that well for me, but these ones I think will do good. 
They are like a burgundy color. These are in excellent condition. They don't look like, again, that they've hardly ever been worn. They are a size 36, so a little bit of a smaller size, but whoa, that's okay. Those are good shoes. Excited to find those. And now we, we, we are going to learn how to speak. We are going to get out all of these jeans that I found all in a row. Like literally I just packed them all up in a row. Um, I guess I don't need to show you every tag. I'll just tell you if the size is different or the style in case you're interested in buying. Abercrombie and Fitch, the ones that say Curve Love do better for me. Also the larger sizes. These are the ankle straight ultra high rise in a size 33. Black, all of the Abercrombie jeans I found were in a black color. Um, these ones are the 90s relaxed jean. Again, high rise curve love. I'm guessing, I mean, this had to have been all the same donor. And they just had a bunch of different styles. These ones are the super skinny ankle high rise. Again, with the curve love. Size 33. They do have a little bit of a raw hem as well. These are so nice. And Abercrombie of the newer style jeans is selling so good for me right now. These ones are the 90s relaxed jean high rise, 33. Black. Yes. Ugh. I was like, yes, because the last store was literally trash. Um, and then there was, a, besides that, newest tag Spanx. So we have a pair of Spanx. Uh, these are the straight leg jeans in a vintage black in a size 1X. So amazing size, new with tags. These should go for at least 50, if not more. I didn't look up comps because I've sold new with tags Spanx so much that I know that it's going to be worth whatever I paid, which was $10. Definitely. Um, and then we have these ones. These ones are not new with tags, but they are a great style. They're a size extra large. That's the Spanx tag. These are more like a work pant, I feel like, but they do seem like they're a straight leg. Uh, pull on, classic black. Excellent, excellent. Excited for that. And then check out these ones. They're like, again, new with tags. They are like latexy. Don't faux get it. Okay, that's cringe. Um, <laughs> the style is in size 1X, the faux patent leather leggings in Port Navy. 1X, I don't know comps in these, but they're so cool. I mean, I wouldn't wear these. They're very shiny, but somebody will want them. Amazing price, too, I think. Again, that's $8. Like, hello. That's one of my favorite Goodwills. Okay, and then I had a pair of orange Athleta size 8. These are the Brooklyn ankle pants, and the Brooklyn ankle pants are still selling good for me. They have this tiny little ribbing down the side. It's what I call it. Uh, straight leg. I don't know how the orange color does. Maybe not as good as black. But definitely wanted to pick those up. And then this is so cute. Actually, like, need to not say this in the drafts and get this listed, like, yesterday. Uh, it has a very Valentine's-ish. Black with the pink hearts. So cute. And then the leggings. The matching set. And they're from the brand Beach Riot, which I've sold a couple times before. This brand can sell really well in certain prints. So look for it. Look it up. Size extra large. Is this the same? Please be the same. Yes, extra large. So yeah, like literally I need to get this listed. So I'm going to leave this out. And I'm probably going to take pictures of it like right after this video. Okay, that's it for that bag. Let's move on. A receipt. This, oh, this was an extra soft sweater. I just posted about this in my story. Um, yesterday, I went to a Goodwill. I checked out right as I was paying. I saw a new cart rolling out. And I was like, I'm just going to go look. Because whatever. And I found this naked cashmere sweater. Which this brand is expensive. And it can resell really well. This is a size extra small. And it's a cream, like, crop crew neck sweater. I can't find the style based off of the style number, which is weird because there's a black one and I found that one. It also says 100% baby cashmere. Like, what does that even mean? Baby cashmere. Um, it says style N20248. Color alabaster. I put that in 
and I could not figure it out. So we'll see if I can find it out when I have some more time to research, but that is so exciting. And then let me show you the black one. Um, same tag, naked cashmere, extra small. This one I think is the Britney sweater, but is it the same style? Maybe they're the same style. No, because the style number is different. I looked it up. The style number is different. So I saw a sold comp for this for $75 and they charged me five. So that was amazing. I'm super glad that I went back to the new car. I had to come back to the same guy and be like, hey, I'm back, but whatever. He didn't care. Um, next, we have an Eileen Fisher jacket. This is the store that is starting to be pricing up their Eileen Fisher jackets. So well, I did pay $15 for this, but it's going to be worth it. It's a size medium, kind of like a windbreaker material. It's purple lined with the black. It's mid-length with pockets and a hood. This is so cute and classic. This probably retailed for at least $200, if not more. This is like a style. I feel like this could sell in Depop. Um, I don't really know if the tag really matters, but is a pink corduroy coat with a pink faux fur. <laughs> it's belted. Um, it has like zipper pockets. I feel like this thing is so amazing. I actually do think I saw a sold comp for this for 45 or 50 on Poshmark. So yay. That's kind of a cool, unique item to add in. These are a pair of Lululemon Align joggers. They are burgundy. They are a size six. Um, I debated about getting these because of the wear, but I think that that's not going to matter that much. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if it's something that can be got off with like a shaver, like a sweater shaver. Maybe you can't see it that much. Um, but it's like tiny little white marks kind of on the inside of the thighs. So Either way, a line so good for me, so I'm like, I'm willing to risk it, even if I have to list them a little bit lower if I can't get that taken care of. Um, and then we have, this brand is so good. This is Etro. This is a bolo. If you watched one of my recent, recent What Sold, I sold some snakeskin pants for 70 maybe, maybe higher. Uh, this is a size 42. It's an Etro dress. It is red, black, and white with the um, wrap detail it's probably midi length this brand is so expensive so super excited to find that and then the last thing in this bag is this icy by connie k this brand sells fast for me so i was happy to pick it up it's a size medium kind of like a neon green with the big artsy button like they always have a kind of an asymmetrical different type of hem so yes because it always sells fast okay and we are on to our last bag so if you're still here, thank you for hanging out with me. Oh, this is from the store with all the good Abercrombie. So get ready for more good stuff. Oh, and the really best thing that's in my thumbnail. Yes. Uh, more newest tag Sphinx. These are the, it says PBP, high rise flare. PBP? They reach out for $148. They're a size 1X. High rise flare. They're kind of like a navy blue, like ponty knit. Uh, they need to be brushed off down there. That's because they're so long. Are they extra large long? Tall, I mean. Oh, it does say 1X, 1TG. Um, I don't know. Does that mean tall? TG? Eh, I'll have do some research on that. Either way, I probably would still mark them as tall or long because that inseam is long. I can tell. Next, we have a pair. Okay, this is new to me. I never knew this. So I saw this YPB, and it means your personal best. That's what it stands for. I, oh, I'm so stupid. I'm literally so stupid. It says it right there. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I looked it up, and this is a line from Abercrombie & Fitch. So it's probably the same as the other person. They're a size extra large. These are a blue, and the reason I got these is they're like a, um, a split flare legging. So these are really good style. They did have some regular leggings, but the comps in those were not as good. These ones were around, I think, 35. So happy to find those. Another pair of leggings, and these are Spanx. These are in a 1X. These are more of an like athletic legging. It says the booty boost. I mean, really, I highly doubt that, but you know. Um, a green color. 
So we'll look up comps on those, but I've never sold a Spanx looking pair of like athletic -y type of leggings. So I was excited to find those. We have a gray Talbot. This is a pure merino wool in a 1X. Talbot's in plus size with certain pieces can do really well. This is a really nice, almost reminds me of the J. Crew sweater blazers. Very classic preppy kind of style. Good for work in the office and stuff like that. Yay. A Talbot's cashmere sweater. This is in a size extra large. It is so soft. I checked it for holes and no holes. I think I'm selling a couple actually literally just the same exact sweater. Same style and different sizes. So that's good. I'll probably list that around 40 um, next up, we have a Spanx shirt, which I've only sold once before. And sometimes these different kind of things, things from Spanx can sell good. This is a size medium and it is like a white top. It is more of like a relaxed oversize with this split kind of seam down the middle and probably a little bit of a longer length as well. So that's really pretty. We have a... Oh yeah, a Barefoot Dreams in a size extra large. So I sold an extra large or a 1X recently for like 30, pretty fast. So I'm just gonna like keep testing the market with these. I know that the small ones don't do good, but the larger sizes can. And it kind of has this like cool design. I probably actually shouldn't have bought that, but eh. I, it's like when I literally just sold one of like the same thing almost, I'm like, I could probably sell it again, right? Okay. Wait, maybe they did have some regular jeans. Abercrombie. Or is this something else? Let me see. Oh, there was some regular jeans. I thought they were all black. There were just so many. Abercrombie 90 Street Ultra High Rise 33 in a medium wash. Yes. I'm trying to like bag these from one bag to the other. So my work area isn't such a huge mess. Spanx jeans. Spanx in a size 1X, possibly tall with that T. These are a high rise flare. The last time I had some high rise flare from Spanx, they sold for 70. I think one pair might have sold for like 80. So yeah, Bolo for the Spanx flare style. This is literally such a good haul. I've been finding so much good stuff. Okay. A lighter wash Abercrombie 90 straight ultra high rise curve love. 33. These are cute. These are so cute. These seem pretty long too, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if Abercrombie makes tall. I think actually they do. And then one more pair of jeans. These are cabbie and these are the Fifth Avenue, which I don't pick this up as much for myself anymore. There's a ton of it that I'm going to be listing from Ryan. I've so far I've listed one of his bigger bins, um, but this Fifth Avenue style I've sold before for good money. It's a size 10. I think they're like a high rise, either boot cut or flare. Um, so yeah, I know from experience, it was just, I think a couple months ago that that style does well. And then my very last item is a huge bolo. So exciting. This was the last thing I found. Somebody was before me. I, they weren't a reseller, thankfully. And it is the brand Jenny Kane. So this is really hard to see because it's black on black. But if you see a plain black label and it feels quality, like check it. It isn't a size extra, extra small, but I literally don't care. Like look how, I mean, this could fit way bigger. It's a crop cream cardigan sweater. Oh, I love this. And it's a hundred percent cashmere. There's a style on there. So I'm going to look it up and see what it goes for. But I was like, yes, like so excited for $6. Jenny came for $6. This is like the best job in the world. Okay, that's my haul, you guys. I'm going to end this video, possibly film my what sold tonight because Ryan and Dustin are upstairs. If you guys could pray for grace, when's this video going out? Tuesday. That's still a couple days before our Disney trip. I'm filming this on Thursday night, the week before. She's sick again. She got sick last week. She works at a daycare. They've had kids throwing up and parents, I think, just bring their kids anyway, which is really annoying. Um, I worked in childcare before, so I know how that goes. And so last Thursday she had a fever. She got better over the weekend. We used um, silver and elderberry and then just lots of rest and water. And she got better over the weekend. And then now she's sick again, another fever, 101.5.
So I'm really praying that she can get better and everything and stay healthy before we go on our vacation because we leave on Thursday. So if you guys could pray for Grace that she stays healthy. I think all those little kids sick everywhere. It's just not doing good. So I'm hoping to keep her going on that stuff for her, her immune system. Maybe that'll help. All right. I need to end this video. It's been literally so long. Okay. I'll see you guys again on the next video Friday. I don't remember what it's going to be. I already have videos pre-uploaded, but I'll be at Disney when you watch this. So keep um, track of my Instagram if you want to follow me because I will post stuff there on my stories. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.